Hi there guys, I'm Taylor from NetBeansTutorials.com and this is how to use a scanner. Where It's a very simple concept. How a scanner works is it's basically a variable class that will save itself as the next user input. Where the input comes from is up to you and your source code. So let's go ahead and uh, delve right in. I'll show you how it works. Uh, project name, how to use a scanner. Misspelled, but, <laughs> but uh, not really a huge issue. Let's get rid of those comments. Okay, now that we're in our uh, void main arguments, we're going to go ahead and declare the scanner variable. It's going to start as scanner sc, and sc is going to be the name of our scanner, and where scanner is declaring that a variable is coming, sc declares the name, and this is where it will get its information from, new scanner system dot in. Alrighty, the next line will be system dot out dot print line what is your name? This is what's going to prompt the uh, the user for the input that the scanner will read the information from and then we'll go ahead and tell the user that we are going to need that input. Go ahead and input that right here. Alrighty. And then we'll go string name equals sc.nextline. Now what that line just did was it actually called the scanner sc that we named up here earlier to uh, go ahead and declare that as a string. Well, let's go in order here. We made a string by name as name, and the string name is going to equal the scanner we made that is going to be prompted on the next line that the user writes. System.out.println Hello. Name. Oop. Messed up there. All right, fantastic. Now, what are these errors I've created? Well, let's see. Am I not supposed to capitalize that? Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I just forgot to tell you guys that in order to use a scanner, you have to actually import the valid data. It doesn't load everything in NetBeans, just what's necessary for your utilities. So we're going to go ahead and type import java.util, and then we're going to type that nonsense, the asterisk and then the semicolon, and that is before your public class. And we also have an error over here, due to me being stupid, no doubt. Alrighty. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and try that out, see how that works. Alrighty. It's asking me for a name, so I'll go ahead and type Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Welcome to Scanners. Alright, that's excellent. And again, let's go just go over that real quick, just in case you... Uh, Go ahead and reinforce that information. Um, scanner SC, this declares a variable that is of the scanner type, names it SC. Its data will be equal to the new scanner system dot input. Now that shows that it's going to be it, um, from the system output line down here, it's going to be uh, the input from down there. That's what that says right there. System dot out print line, obvious print, okay. St then, it, then we declare a string right here that's going to reference our scanner information that it gained from the input down in the system output box. String name equals sc, again, the name of our scanner, dot next line. So what this does, this value is already set at this point in our code, and its value would be Taylor. So it's going to name a string by name, and then value of name is Taylor at this point. So system.outprint, hello, Taylor. All right, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll get to it. And if you need any more uh, beginner tutorials, you go to netbeanstutorials.com. Thanks, guys. See you later.